Hello YouTubers, this is Ben with Chew Cable, and today we're going to talk about something that confuses a lot of people a lot of times, but it's extremely important, and that is what is the difference between PC, UPC, and APC polishes? And we're specifically talking about when it comes to fiber optic connectors and the end face polish on those connectors. So we're going to go through and we're going to talk about the differences in those, as well as where you might use one over another. So don't go away, we'll be right back. <music> So as we mentioned, we want to talk about the differences between PC, UPC, and APC polish connectors. Three different types, but really the most commonly used now are UPC and APC. And I have here an APC type connector. This is an SC type connector, as well as this LC connector, which we'll call that a PC connector. And then we have this ST style connector, which has a UPC polish on it. So if we think about these differences between these, really the first type of polish that came out was a PC polish. And the PC polish was really designed for better back reflection when testing fiber optic connections. And really where that makes a difference is when two connectors are plugged into each other directly, point to point, what happens is there's an air gap there. And so having the, the polish flat and very clean creates less back reflection. And so the higher the number on the back reflection, the better the connector actually is. So if we look at PC, we typically had about a minus 40 back reflection on a PC type connector, which was very good. It worked for most instances. But as higher bandwidths started to come out, installers were starting to need 10 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig applications for fiber. Then the UPC was introduced as well as the APC, which actually has been around for quite a while. Now there's a big difference between PC, UPC, and particularly the APC. The UPC and the PC polish connectors are quite similar except for the newer UPC, which again, that stands for ultra physical contact connector, it has kind of a curvature on the end face of the ferrule. And that curvature on the end face of the ferrule allows for a much a better back reflection versus the PC. The PC, which stands for physical contact, is generally not even used in most cases anymore in fiber installations. But the real big difference and the one that stands out between the two is the APC, which stands for angled physical contact. And the reason it's called angled physical contact is because that end face ferrule has an eight degree angle on it. Why is that important? Well, the importance of that is that when those two connectors mate, they actually create eight degree angle as mentioned and that allows for really, really low back reflectance. That is very important when it, we're talking video signals, when we're talking really high data rates, and when internet service providers need to transmit high internet data signals and video. So that's where those really come into play. The other area that we look at in these three differences is when we look at insertion loss. So we have back reflection, which is extremely important. And the higher the number, the lower the back reflection. But the other area is an insertion loss. You also get a, a much better insertion loss, which is characteristic of the fiber optic cables themselves. And the better the insertion loss, the more distance you can go, the more bandwidth, again, you can transmit over that fiber from transceiver to transceiver. So that's just a little bit about the difference between PC, a UPC, and an APC polish. I have here single mode options. That's where you're going to typically see all three types. But in multi-mode options, you're going to see 99% of the time now a UPC, an ultra-physical contact polish, whereas it used to be a PC polish, but not used so much anymore. And then in all single mode applications that are used for video and internet service providers, high speed, long distances, almost always are going to use that APC connector with an eight degree polish for those really high bandwidth applications. So if you enjoyed this technical information in terms of fiber optic cabling and how to identify the difference between those three polishes, please like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up. And as always, happy networking.
Thank you very much for watching the video. You may not be aware of it, but we also have extensive blogs at our Cable Academy, 200 plus and counting. And most of the videos that you actually see here on YouTube are in fact embedded in a blog, which is far more detailed in regards to photography and descriptions. So I strongly recommend you head over to our Cable Academy, truecable.com, and check it out.